I got in my dinner. I said, Why you hating? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you calling me ugly, why you on my line? Like, why you hating for? I bet you can't be as happy as I am, though. You know why? Because you care about what people say. Be happy. Be yourself. Hey, y'all have a great day. This is the first video I ever saw this guy in. Basically, a happy go lucky little person. You can think of him as a Mexican leprechaun. Really cool guy. Give some good life advice. Why hate on him when you could be happy yourself? But I didn't see much content from this guy after this. This is pretty much the only video I remember him being in. And yet, some way, somehow, he's made a way back onto my Instagram feed. And this is a little odd, this is a little weird, but the reason why he's trending now is because he got a Make-A-Wish granted to him. But this is a different type of Make-A-Wish. This was not John Cena showing up. This was not Brad Pitt coming to a hospital room. He was giving the opportunity to lose his virginity because of the nice people at the fan bus. By the way, the fan bus is a evolution of the bang bus for all the old heads out there just trying to keep everyone in the loop. So basically the way this all started is that the fan bus, who I never heard of until now, had an interview with this young man and he was explaining his different life experience, different details, when all of a sudden he had mentioned that he was still a virgin. What is your body count this year so far? I'm a <gasps> Wait, you're a Yeah. No way. Yeah, I'm, I'm a How old are you? I'm 23. 23 yeah. and you're ever why are you still it just it hasn't happened all this good they they see me like they think i'm small they probably think i can't you feel me or whatever so they just underestimate me they think you can't what like that i can't you feel me handle that like they just nobody has ever gave me a chance like i ain't trip about it you feel me yeah i get sad sometimes like i'm 23 right now and i'm still a <laughs> Wow. Now, after explaining the situation and the kind of trials and tribulations he's been facing, the people at FanBus actually gave him a proposition. They said, you know what? It seems like you don't have this experience. It seems like you're kind of missing out. You're down in the dumps. What if we were able to make your wish true? What if I became your genie? So do you think that we could find a girl and get you on the bus? And I don't know, maybe you guys have some fun on the fan bus. I mean, I don't know, can you? If we got you a girl, would you be down? You're telling me to lose my Like, I, I can do the, 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 the Superman thing, the, the push-up thing on her? To lose my if, if that's the position. I'm, I'm down, I'll do all the, 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 the fight. The, the everything, I'm down. So needless to say, bro was excited, he was gassed, and this was a couple of days ago. Fast forward to two days ago, and another interview dropped, and this time, the wish came true. Aladdin be damned, because if you remember watching Aladdin, the genie said, the one wish I cannot grant you is someone else loving you. But some way, somehow, the fan bus was able to get it done. Hi, Alien. My name's Aria Electra, and I've seen your video. I would love to take your... Whoa. How do you feel about that? that? What would you do if she was gay right now? Oh my gosh, it looks like you've been practicing. Yeah, I mean, you're filming the fruits. So wait, you're filming. Does that tongue do? Huh? Does that tongue do? Yo. We got it. She's I the, told you. She's the one from the video? Yeah, I told you. There's no way, bro. Yeah. Okay. For real? For real? For real? Bro, there's no way. It's okay. Bro. It's okay. Listen. You know, look. Dude was so happy and full of excitement, he had to run out of the van. He's like, I need to get out of here, I need to catch my breath. He's over there catching the vapors, passing out. And this is legitimate. I thought this was just a meme, I thought this was a joke, I thought it was just like, LOL, hey guys, you know, we just wanted to make a joke with this guy whose name is Baby Alien, he has a nickname on the internet. But then, I, I was interested, you know, curiosity got the better of me, I wondered, I said, I wonder, is this real? Is did this guy really go through with this? And I, I, I think I think it's real. And the reason why I say I think it's real is because I wasn't even able to load the fan bus page. It literally is having 500 internal errors. Like this is now going to be the most purchased video on the entire OnlyFans platform. Now, once the website did load and I was able to get into the deep trenches of this dark side of the internet, I saw that the video was legitimate. I do not have the $50 to spend, nor do I want to see what is behind this paywall. 
But if you have $50 and curiosity gets the best of you, you too could not only see this, but really experience it with this individual named Baby Alien, where he's finally going to become an alien man. Uh, hopefully this boosts bro's self-esteem. This is actually pretty hilarious and pretty funny. In my opinion though, I think that he kind of messed up. He might've fumbled the bag because he was so salivating and so excited about the experience. He didn't really think about the business aspect. I'm gonna go ahead and guess and say that Fanbus said, this is a gift. This is just a gift from me to you. I'm making your wish come true. But he doesn't realize that they're profiting off of this. Like the website is literally down right now. They don't have enough service to support this. Even Bad Bobby didn't bring down the OnlyFans website, but my boy Baby Alien is doing it himself. So needless to say, at 50 bucks a pop, and if there's at least a couple thousand people who buy this, a couple hundred thousand is rolling in by the day just based off of people's curiosity. So if I were you, baby alien, I'd say, listen, you got the W, you got the badge, but in the future, you should also think about the bag. At the end of every single video, make sure you ask people to rate and subscribe to your content. It makes them feel like they're involved even though they're really not. And most importantly, make sure they comment on every single video. If you have to, disguise it. You know, call it something like the question of the day. And really make them think you're going to really read it when you really don't have to. Ha ha ha!